Hey guys, it's your girl Aisha Sasha and today I'm going to be showing you how I made a cosmic clock using the items from the October Sophie and Toffee Elves box. Now I know that the theme was seascapes and I will be doing something a bit more sea related at a later date. However, as soon as I saw this, I was just like, okay, I kind of want to do something a bit more galactical, a bit more cosmic, a little bit more spacey. So this is what you're going to get. <laughs> So what I'm doing here is I'm just pre pre preparing, I can't even say, I can't even speak right today. I'm just preparing the uh, sides of the wooden slice with some tape and also on the back of it as well, just to make sure that no resin goes over there. And I'm just sort of priming the wood here with some UV resin. This probably isn't even a really like required step, but I just thought that it would be good to give it a little base for me to actually work on. So these are the pigments that came in the box and I can't stress to you enough just how little that you need. Seriously, the amount that I'm using here in this resin, this is way too much. Like I could have put in a teeny tiny drop of this and I still would have gotten a really, really dense color. Um, they are incredibly thick and will definitely last you a really, really long time because you need like the tiniest drop just to color the whole pot of resin. Um, what I'm doing next is I'm using the dark blue and mixing it with a touch of transparent black to create a very deep indigo color. And I'm also using some hot pink in with the blue to create a sort of purpley mauve sort of color. And then I'm using some more hot pink in with the white to create a baby pink because I wanted there to be a nice contrast between the colors. I wanted to make it a little bit more interesting. So once all of your colors are mixed, now comes the fun part, the pouring and the use of a heat gun or hairdryer to just make some seriously cool shapes. Now, I made one little mistake here. I did this for too long. I was having way too much fun and I found that the resin A cured very quickly and B, it got quite sort of um, hard in a certain place. So I had to do a little bit of digging and scraping <laughs> to try and like fix it but um yeah so just beware you can like accidentally overheat this and it may it may cure really really quickly but do have some fun with it because you can create some really really beautiful shapes My vision for this was to kind of make my own planet. Like if I could escape from this one, where would I most like to go? And I know you might be thinking, well, why isn't it covered with rainbows? Because I wanted there to be just a little bit of realism there. <laughs> and I feel that, you know, a planet could actually look like this. So yeah, that was my kind of, my kind of theme that I had going on. So once I'd quite finished having the time of my life, I then took my Arteza glitters to add in the extra sparkle. Now these ones are big, fat and chunky and absolutely gorgeous and they went perfectly on top of the really nice deep indigo colour and I also used the very very fine iridescent glitter that came with the Sophie and Toffee box but later on I did go ahead and dome this and I used my uh, fatter chunkier iridescent Arteza glitters on top because I just wanted to have more sparkle because you already know me if it ain't sparkling or shining in some sort of way it's not mine okay <laughs> But yeah, um, you will see it in just a second. I definitely think that adding in the chunkier glitters gave it a really sort of supernatural touch.
Okay, so now it is day three and this is the part where I'm super, super nervous because I love the way that this looks and I'm absolutely petrified to drill a hole in the middle of it just in case I mess it up or in case it breaks. Don't worry, it didn't break at all. It was absolutely fine. I was just being a bit of a chicken. So... <laughs> I borrowed my friend's drill. I know my hands are way too close to it and I shouldn't do that at all. So please don't copy me. <laughs> Clearly, I'm not very used to using drills. And I used my Arteza marker to do the numbers. And look at this, my darlings. I have finally put together this clock. Do you know, I've actually had this clock mechanism in my house for such a long time. And yes, I know that the hands are longer than the face, but we are doing this Shasha style, okay? I was too scared to cut the hands in case I messed them up. So we're just gonna have to deal with it. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. It's something a little bit different for me. And uh, if you did, then don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss the next one. Take care, my darlings, and I'll see you all soon. Bye.